Mazadet Free Girl here, back with another day in shelf temper for you guys. Uh, this is what we ate today, some of what we did, and what's going on. Stay tuned for that. Don't forget, if you like this kind of content, to like, comment, and subscribe. Click the notification bell to be notified when I post new videos, which is every other day. And I will catch you later in the video. my teeth while you're taking a shower if there's one thing i know there is power in ordinary love ordinary love So it may not look pretty, but this is my lunch today. This is yeah. the leftover rice from a packet of rice from my Sheltemba basket. Just did on the stove with the absorption method. Um, that's now out of my stockpile basket. Stockpile basket. My Sheltemba basket. Um, and the last of my leftover slow-cooked white chili chicken, which is so good. I had this for dinner last night because the kids and hubby had different leftovers I couldn't have. And I also had this for lunch yesterday, so that's what I've been eating. I also chopped up some uh, homegrown frozen chili, chili that I froze from my mother-in-law's. I just sliced that up frozen, throw that on top. The heat will soften it and defrost it, and this will be my spicy lunch with my cup of tea. Ignore the lipstick, I've already been having some. So yeah, there's lunch. The kids are at school. The baby is having leftovers that I chopped up from... For school lunches, so leftover capsicum, some leftover hot dog meat, some watermelon, and some uh, protein balls. Alright, so you can probably guess from what I've got on the table that we are making nachos tonight. I've also got minced to frosting, so we've got tortilla chips, black beans, lentils, loaded fries, tomatoes, yellow capsicum, onion, green chili out the freezer, red chili out the freezer, a couple of cloves of garlic, some corn cobs, which I am cutting the kernels off of, um, and the loaded fries, not true stuff. And I've also got cheese in the fridge. So that's what I'm making. I'm gonna get to it. So rather than putting everything out on plates, I decided to just throw the tray on the table I kept a corner without tomato for hubby and a corner half a side without any chili for the kids and we all just helped ourselves. Editing Emily here. I just realized that I actually have another clip from a night two or three days after where I did chili con carne, very similar. So I'm gonna throw that in here too to show you how you can use the same ingredients in two similar yet different meals to keep your family fed and similar ingredients means you're only buying one of each ingredient, maybe larger packets, rather than buying 20 or 30 different items for two different dinners. So yeah, stay tuned for that. So we have this two star beef, which we've never tried before, but we'll give it a go. We have onion, garlic, we have taco seasoning to be used up. We have capsicum. We have sour cream for my little two and my husband cheese for topping, we have black beans and lentils for extra protein and to make it stretch, corn, diced tomatoes, and some chips to scoop it with because that's how we like it. So let's make it. 